I have a Dell Vostro 1310 and I am running some uh, some diagnostics. If I go to the launcher and then type in diagnostics then you get right here you get the diagnostics application um, that's pre-installed on the system. It's running the Flex OS, the new operating system from Google that's made to basically take old hardware and turn it into a Chromebook. So it's running right now. I'm running on a system that does not meet the minimum requirements according to uh, Google's information. They say you need four gigabytes of RAM. Right now, this system has three and just sitting here, you know, not really doing anything. It's using less than one gigabyte. Uh, the idle CPU, well, you can see it there, user 25%, system 14%. So we're not using a lot of CPU either. And the uh, CPU speed is consistently at or below one gigahertz. It is a 1.8 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo, as you can see here. So, oh, and I'm running uh, dual displays right now. So the, the native display of this laptop is on a 1200 by 800, I guess. And I'm running it on a 1080p monitor using extended desktop. So I've never run these tests before. Let's take a look. We're running a stress test right now. Some folks looking at my other video on running Flex OS on this older machine, uh, they suggested, hey, you should, you should run some statistics and put up some numbers uh, so people can see what the real performance looks like on these older systems. So that's what I'm doing. I've been learning a little bit about uh, Chromebook OS along the way. Just so you know, uh, how I got the terminal, which is called the Cross Shell, Chrome OS Shell. Uh, Control Alt T will open up the terminal window, and then you know, then I simply typed in top. Here I've brought up. The basic information, you can see Linux on the Core 2 Duo, what model it is, how speed it's running at, version of Linux, kernel, etc. Now I've already done some benchmarking on this system. Um, it's got an SSD in it, but before I did that upgrade it had no hard drive at all. So I was running a, a live Linux disk. The UBCD, the Universal Boot CD, which if you don't have and you, know, you do things with computers, you need the UBCD. So it gave me um, a desktop Linux with uh, a bunch of partition utilities and all kinds of system tools on it, and including benchmarks. So when I benchmarked this particular CPU to give it some perspective, it consistently is falling between a a 2.4 and a 2.6 gigahertz Pentium 4. Okay, so this test is about done. So you notice that the speed of the CPU has been up near its maximum. Uh, the temperature, the peak was around 66 degrees Celsius. All of the tests pass. Um, here's another uh, thing you can use for getting all kinds of information out of the system.
Okay, I've never run these before. Um, I'm just kind of curious what this is going to look like. So, 25-30% CPU. So obviously this is going to be more GPU heavy. The frame rate's pretty low. Um, you can see the counter up there. So on this size canvas, 1024 by 1024, with uh, 500 fish, we're getting five frames per second. Uh, if I'm understanding this right, let's see if I could change the number of fish. There we go. We've cut down to 100 fish. Frame rate's going up slightly. Very slightly. Let's just go to one fish, see what it looks like. pretty well now we're up to well I'm still running some of these tools so let's close some of these make it a little more fair I've disconnected the external display and I wanted to see if I still experience buffering when just using a single display I know my speeds are good because I'm on the land. So I think you've seen more than enough about performance of the new Flex OS on the under spec old laptop enough to show you that you can get uh, you know performance on this out of even more old machines than Google may have been anticipating which is a great thing as ultimately you know like their stated mission about the OS is you want to use old machines use them at a low cost reduce electronic waste and you know these things are not hard to keep running and do a little work on the fix up like putting in memory or a, a new drive or cleaning out the fan or the keyboard so hope you enjoyed